Ruby reacts back again, and today I'm gonna be reacting to uh, Laura Fabian singing Caruso. I've heard Caruso by Pavarotti, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I've. I, I may have heard some other versions of it, but I don't think I've heard Laura Fabian. Uh, I don't think I've ever reacted to her. I I don't know because I did look up Caruso versions like uh, uh maybe last year, the year before. So it's possible, but I don't know. But a friend of mine recommended this, so I'm excited. So uh, let's just hit play here. I'm going to introduce you to someone that's going to blow your mind. Her voice will, I can only describe it as heavenly. When she burst onto the scene, we couldn't believe what we were hearing. It was a voice like from another planet or something. She made her mark here, and then she conquered Europe where she has lived for most of her life. I'm so fortunate to have lived in a world of great voices, but believe me, this voice is at the top of the heap of great voices. And she is going to put her own mark on a song that I actually once produced for Josh Groban. And wait till you hear this woman sing. Please welcome Lara Fabian. That's uh, one hell of an introduction. Qui dove il mare luccica e dove tira forte il vento sulla vecchia terrazza davanti al golfo di Suriento un uomo abbraccia una ragazza dopo che aveva pianto poi si schiarisce la voce e ricomincia Wow! 
Lara Fabian. Let's hear it for her, Lara Fabian. Amazing. Thank you. Grazie. <laughs> She doesn't sound like your typical opera singer with like the high notes and everything, but she put in a lot of passion, a lot of passion into that song. Probably as much passion of, as Pavarotti himself. Uh, I, I would, I, I wouldn't call her a t the typical opera singer. It's, uh, d d I don't want this to sound as an insult. I don't want it to sound like an insult at all. But it's almost like, what if someone like Celine Dion was singing opera? But that's not a bad thing. She just has, you know, that that style of voice. But she, but she has a lot more emotion than Celine Dion does. Celine Dion has a great voice, but there's not a lot of emotion there a lot of times. So it's power, though. It's power. I, I don't know if she has the power or not, but she, pretty close to it. Pretty close to it. Yeah, she. It's like it's a really sultry, sultry version of Caruso. Uh, I don't know about you guys out there, but when I listen to opera in a you know in like Italian or other languages, uh, I don't really want to know what the words are. Is that weird? I know sometimes, uh, you know, there, there's subtitled ones where you can read along. But uh, I like the mystique of not knowing the words. It's almost like I'd rather not really think of it as uh, an opera singer as, as, uh, as like uh, words is like I want the opera singer to be an instrument. Like just like listening to like instrumental music. I listen to opera like uh, like the opera singer is part of the orchestra. Does that make any sense? I, I don't I don't want to know what the lyrics are. I can feel the passion in their voice, and that's all I need. But no, I did like that, and uh, I'll have to react to another one of hers because I actually got another recommendation too, so I might do that. So uh, I'll react to something else soon. So uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>